Oh, this is Andy from infraready.co.uk. If you're watching this, please hit thumbs up, subscribe, and get ready for this very interesting video. So obviously, if you're familiar with my store, online at infraready.co.uk, you'll know that we sell a wide range of ghost hunting equipment. So today, we're, we're just using an iPhone, and we'll show you some very interesting apps. So I'm using an iPhone 12, Pro uh, or Max, uh, either or. I think this will also work on, on the iPhone 11. So it, it's better if you've got the uh, time of flight, the TOF camera, um, which you'll see on the back of the iPhone 12. It's basically, you've got the three lenses and then you've got a black uh, circle below uh, the single lane lens that's on the right. So on the opposite side to where the flash is basically. Or below the opposite side of a lens so we've got three apps that we've downloaded um, so these utilize the depth camera features the good thing about these not only do they work in the daytime but they also work in complete darkness so at the moment um, just outside of my window you can adjust just the depth so you can see, you can see it's daytime at the minute but the the depth camera doesn't know whether it's day or night it's just sending out a, a lot of infrared dots and then it's creating a matrix and then it's reading uh, those dots basically so it'll be casting out the dots and then if you can imagine if the dots were cast onto my hand the grid would be quite quite close together but the further away that grid gets the squares will be further apart and then obviously the algorithms within the software will calculate depth. So this is why you start to see this image. So obviously uh, under my desk, I'm saying you can you can see my tripod, etc. Not the, not the best resolution, but I think it's a great addition for, uh, for ghost hunting. So it's a little bit like an SLS camera in a way. It works in the same principles, but obviously it's not going to map skeletal figures so you can change uh, the precision that it actually picks up um, so if I turn this to a uh, one millimeter you'll see that the background it starts to to blend then so I've actually got an actual uh, the colored background and we can set the range as well so we can uh, basically limit the amount of information it's going to pick up. So if we put it back on range there, so we can say, right, we only want it to, to map objects in the, in the, that are close to us. So again, if you're in a situation when it's pitch black, dark, and you're investigating, you can set it on a trigger object and you can basically mask out the background. Um, so if anything does pass, you'll see it that it will it will appear on the the camera itself so you can record in all of the apps um, you can also switch to the front camera so if you look at the bottom left you can see lidar so that will now switch to my face and again you can you can adjust uh, <laughs> my nose to a uh, so you can you can change your position as well uh, then you can also introduce actual real mix of, of color on that um, likewise you can uh, use the front camera in color to achieve different focus so you can get like a bokeh effect so if you you'll see that it's now uh, blowing out the background obviously better if we use that on a like a feature like my hand you can see the background is actually blurred out like a, a DSLR would be so quite a handy tool again we'll flip that back um, turn the colour down same we've got the uh, 
the depth cam there. We can introduce a mix of colour there as well. So you can actually like like a hybrid you can you can blend the two in. So it's very useful. Okay, so we shall close that up down. We've got then got re record 3D. Um, so this is very similar, but you can put, uh, I think this app, this may come at a charge. And um, when I got it, it was free and I think you can get a free trial. Um, but they're about anywhere between two to, to five pounds a time of flight apps. So you can apply in the settings. Um, you can see you can actually live stream or stream video to your computer via Wi-Fi or USB. And um, we can turn some of these modes on to get very good quality. Um, we can change the colour map colours too. So if we go back to uh, the camera itself, that one's quite a similar colour map. So if we can pick something more vivid, um, that's of magma, sounds very interesting. So that's a purplish one. We've got jet. Let's go red so you can adjust the uh, the colour map there. So it's, it's really effective. So if, if my hand's at a distance and then it gets closer to the camera, then uh, it will change in colour. So it's almost like a, a thermally ca camera effect, but for depth. And again, it works excellent in uh, in dark settings. You can put your torch on, but... It's only needed uh, to see where you're actually walking. It's not necessary, but it's not needed for the depth camera program itself or app itself. Likewise, you can flip to uh, the LiDAR. So you can build up the area as well. And uh, you can map, map yourself and then you can record, say, things for the, to the uh, app, etc. Final one, I'll show you this one. It's called Sightscape. Um, this one, you need daylight to use this. Um, but it's an excellent way to map out rooms, etc. So you can uh, change your settings. You can put max, we'll go for max detail. We'll have a high point density and uh, a high point size. So if I... If I just try this on my uh, desk, so uh, I move it around. So if you was out and about on a ghost hunt, um, I'll go under my desk as well. What you can do is, uh, is you can actually map out. So you'll see that's a three, very quick 3D representation. Even got the boxes, etc., under my desk. And you can see, you can pinch, you can drag, uh, and it's mapped out a room. So if you was in a haunted location, you can quickly map out that room, and then you can actually look at all angles and view view things. Uh, well, view the room, and, and you can fly around that in a and have a 360 tour as such. So it's it's a brilliant device. Uh, and allows you to document where you've been on, on your ghost hunts and investigations and then look back and look for anomalies. Rather than looking at flat images, you can actually look at the, uh, the things in full detail. So if I, if I went for, say, uh, we'll go for uh, the max area. I'll try it in the... Uh, In my kitchen and lounge. So if we go, uh, we'll start. And you go up, and it'll fill in all the dots automatically. You can do this full 360 degrees. Uh, let's say floor etc. There's a dog's toy, 
and his bone. So if we do that, we'll click OK. And then uh, again, you can see we've actually got the ceiling there. So if we look in from the, the other side, you'll actually uh, be able to work that out a bit better. So you can see that we've got a basically a very detailed version of my kitchen that was scanned in there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that you found it informative. As I've asked before, if you could please show your support, hit thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below, tell us what you'd like to see. If you visit our website at infraready.co.uk, UK, you'll see a great load of equipment and tutorials, etc. Keep watching the channel and thanks for your support. So there's a few more apps that we'll go into detail next time that you're looking at now. Again, these are all based on, on the iOS, on Apple phones, etc. Uh, so much appreciated. Keep following us and we'll see you soon.